Good afternoon and welcome to the latest episode of Play Print 21, the weekly video news bulletin for the Australia and New Zealand print industry. This issue is sponsored by Ball & Doggett, Australia's largest supplier of printable materials and press room consumables, and now supplying wide format equipment. Tough news to leave this week, Access Print Solutions and sister company Graphic Print are in voluntary administration. The general commercial printers calling in the suits uh, to try and rescue the businesses. Both are significant size print businesses with around 50 staff each. Uh, Access, based in Granville, New South Wales, Graphic Print uh, is one of only three Australian companies running Heatset Web. That's located in Richmond uh, and also in North Plimpton, uh, both in South Australia. Access was about to celebrate its 20th anniversary. It was founded in July 2004 by Mark Holmes and Norbert D'Souza. It bought Adelaide's Graphic Print, uh, which was established in 1961, back in 2015, and then bought Wayne Sidwell's uh, Adelaide heat set operation Cadillac Printing uh, just a year later. Integrated that into the graphic print business. Uh, Holmes and D'Souza, together with their wives, and they're the shareholders of the company. Uh, the administrator is now uh, running the business, of course, and looking to restructure them, uh, those businesses, either with a deed of company arrangement or by implementing a going concern sale of business. Uh, the directors, the two directors there, uh, they cited poor economic trading conditions, a significant cost expenditure with respect to various premises, uh, leases, rise, rents rising rapidly, and outstanding statutory taxation obligations as the reasons why they placed the companies into administration. First meeting of creditors is scheduled for Friday. Uh, second creditors meeting, uh, that's set to take place in four to six weeks' time. The administrator says it's too early, of course, to tell if unsecured creditors will see any of their invoices paid. Uh, the country's largest packaging print operations, including Amcor, Aurora and Busy, are all championing a more inclusive and gender-balanced workplaces uh, situation by joining the National Association of Women in Operations, NAWO. Uh, the association has 90 company members, uh, recognising the support of, that it brings uh, and the transformative impact of diversity and inclusivity within historically male-oriented sector, print and packaging. Other packaging print members, including Detmold Group, Opal and OG, uh, are also included in the NAWO, NAWO membership. Uh, NAWO recognised the urgent need for pressing for pressing societal changes, including a national crisis of gender-based violence and work workforce shortages across multiple male-oriented industries. Uh, they've identified, uh, by now identified in the government's Future Made for Australia plan. Uh, but if companies that don't know where to start, they go to NAWO. Tasmanian printers express their frustration with government-funded print continuing to be sent to China rather than to local printers. As some is, some is hosted by VMA Visual Media Association in Launceston and Hobart. Local print companies including Mercury Walsh, Foot and Playstead, Flying Colours, Thinkbid Printing, Mark Media, Spices and others all attended. As well as discussing taxpayer funded print going to China, the summits also discuss how to improve the quality of training uh, for, the Tas for Tasmania, how to build IR and HR health check services and how to arm printers with the skills to sell print based on effectiveness and environmental credentials. Uh, is services that are meaningful to customers. Kelly Northwood, CEO of the VMA, and VMA Tasmanian, Tasmanian Board Representative Tony Bertrand attended the two sessions held across the state. Some 170,000 printers went to Drupa 2024, the first for eight years, which ran for 11 days in Dusseldorf last month, representing a 35% dip in numbers since the last Drupa. International visitors accounted for 80% of Drupa guests, uh, with printers coming from 174 countries, a record number. That uh, represents 90% of all the countries in the world and highlights the global international appeal of what remains the world's biggest print trade show by far. Uh, VMA Treasurer and Lampson Paragon CEO Rodney Frost completed his 16th Vinnie's CEO sleepout on Thursday, uh, making the street his bed for the night as temperatures plummeted. Uh, this year's sleepout saw a remarkable 1,589 CEOs take part, and between them, they raised a whopping $8.3 million. For Frost, the event is personal. He said, my father was homeless as a young man. Uh, that's why I'm so attached to this cause, and always aim to do whatever, it, whatever I can to try and give to those in this position. Uh, some support and a hand up to give the, uh, some support and a hand up to those in this position. The funds raised across the night are accounted and ordered separately from other St. Vinnie's charities and uh, do not go into the general funds, but instead go straight to the programs and facilities for those less fortunate and uh, sleeping rough on the streets at the moment. 
That's it for this week's episode of Playprint 21. Go to playprint21.com.au for all these stories in depth and more. Uh, you'll find them there on the industry's only print news website. Thanks to our sponsor, Ball & Doggett. This is Wayne Robinson, editor of Print 21, signing off for another week.